Uh, hi, I'm Skinny Cheeks. In this video, we'll go over some tips and tricks I put together for DPS testing. It won't be a guide on how to DPS, but how to set up an environment where you can efficiently test DPS. I'll be going over some essential add-ons, my housing setup, and my ultimate region setup. And as you can see, I'm on the PTS. I do recommend doing testing on there versus the live server. Um, you can get a little more creative and not worry about wasting any of your materials. Alright, now I'll go over the add-ons. The first is Essential Housing Tools. This is one of the biggest time savers as it has a function where you can type Reset Dummy and it will automatically reset the dummies in your house. And this also works in combat. You just type Reset Dummy. It automatically pulls you out of combat, resets the dummy, and puts it at full health. The next add-on is Action Duration Reminder, and what this one does is put timers on your ability bar whenever you cast a skill, so you can keep up with the remaining duration until it needs to be reapplied. And there are other options for this if you prefer, such as Bandit's UI or Fancy Action Bar. The next add-on is Combat Metrics. It's probably the most important add-on for DPS testing. It gives you detailed data about your fight, and it also has other features such as a build info tab. The next add-on I'll go over is dressing room. It's really important to have an add-on such as dressing room or alpha gear that lets you save different settings to switch between. Um, the main reason I like it too for this purpose is to have an alt gen setup that I can swap to in between parses and I'll go over that setup in just a bit. Another add-on I really like is GCD Bar. What this does is puts this little bar on your screen. You can customize it to a different color, different shape, um, but it just shows your global cooldown. Um, and it's really helpful when you're DPS testing, especially if you're new to a, uh, a class or with the timings of certain abilities, because um, their sound effects don't always line up with how long they actually last. So having that little bar go across that's exactly one second, it's really helpful for uh, light attack weaving. All right, next up is mitigation percent. And there are probably other add-ons that do this, but it just puts an extra couple lines here that shows your physical and spell penetration so you don't have to manually add it up. And for the raid dummy, you do want to be at 5850 penetration to get the full pin value. Alright, the last add-on I'll go over is Votan's Keybinder. And what this does is just binds all your keys for the account. So every new character you make, you don't have to keep setting up your keybinds. Um, and it just puts a little checkbox next to it that's automatically on. If you don't want it bound to every character, you can uncheck it and customize it that way. Now I'll quickly go over my housing setup. Uh, First off, obviously you want a dummy to parse on. I recommend the Iron Atro over the standard dummy just because it makes it a lot easier to test between different classes and see how they stack up. Um, you want all your crafting stations and then obviously an outfit station because you don't want to look like a scrub when you're parsing. Then your transmute station. Uh, I set up my Mundus stones that I might choose between and then have my banker here to quickly swap gear between different characters. So finally I'll go over my ult gen setup. Uh, I use this in between parses to generate ult as fast as possible and I use dressing room to quickly swap to it. The biggest key in this is using invigorating drain. It gives you five ult every second for three seconds while it's channeling. Uh, if you don't want to be a vampire you can just not put any skill points into this. Um, but you definitely want this skill when you're testing stuff out. And then I also run a five-piece Champion of the Hist. Gives you minor heroism while you're in combat, generating one ult every 1.5 seconds. Uh, you can also use a sword and board with Heroic Slash to get the same effect. And now I'll show the difference between building ult with a ult gen setup versus a standard DPS setup. Here's just the standard setup.
So about 40 seconds to get a Dawnbreaker up. Um, standard is 250, so about double that to get a standard up. And here's the ult gen setup. So Dawnbreaker comes in at about 13 seconds. And your standard's up in about 26. And that is all for this video. I hope some of the information was helpful for you. If it was, please feel free to share it with others. Uh, bye.